Hey guys, so we were left with, once again, another super tight range day. Um, this was our third day in a row of less than 1% intraday movement, which is the first time we've done that since January of 2022. So pretty, pretty uh, rare to see such small amount of movement intraday like we have been seeing here. Um, but the biggest thing I'm seeing here is that we broke out of the triangle finally, which does leave for upside potential. We have an eight crossover again, um, and we finally turned the 200 EMA potentially into support here at 399. We also finally broke out of this consolidation channel right here. So basically the biggest thing we're seeing besides that is that we also turned this 395.8 supply into a 395.6 demand. Very bullish. Basically what I'm seeing potential for is that we're going to make another run at 405.2. This pretty much gives me, what I'm seeing happen here is that we're gonna make a run for 405.2. That's going to lead to a pretty good size rejection which then is going to lead to Friday, which is the quarterly option expiration um, and is the JPM collar roll, is that we're going to see a big rejection tomorrow at 405.2, and then we're gonna have a really big red open on Friday, followed by a pretty good red day. That is the potential that I am seeing. Now, the one thing to keep in mind here is we had this massive gap up overnight. We left a gap from 396.49 to 398.68. So basically that's about a $2.20 gap. So with that gap, we could immediately come back down and form a nice abandoned baby pattern if we were to happen to get a pretty significantly red pre-market. And we do have jobs data in the morning, so it's possible. And that could lead to then a retest down here to 395.5. Uh, basically what I'm looking for is a push up to either 405.2 or for us to establish a new supply short of that target. And that will be when I will look for the bigger downside. I did start a 30 day uh, DTE 400 put position because I do believe there is downside to come but I'm letting it run and I'm okay with going red on this for a little bit and then averaging down once we get to 405.2, assuming that we put in a top there and start coming back down. Now looking at futures here, same thing. We finally broke out of our triangle. So that gives us a push tomorrow. And then I didn't talk about this in the written TA, but we broke through that resistance here. So now we all we have left is this bear mark or this bear line right here which tomorrow, look at where, right where that is on resistance, right at 40.95, which is our demand. So potential, what I'm seeing, just like on SPY, is that we're gonna make a run up to 40.95, and that's what we're gonna reject. With a new demand being put in at 4,000, that opens up the potential. If we touch 40.95, then we then eliminate that demand, and we can potentially even turn that into a supply if we get our green day tomorrow, followed by a red day on Friday. That would be very bearish, and I would look for an opportunity for SPY to come all the way back down to 4014 before we bounce. Now looking at the VIX here, the VIX also plays into this. We have a nice gap down of almost 60 cents, I think it was. Let's see, we closed 19.91, 19.45, so about 50 cents. Um, now, the one thing about the VIX that you should know is that it does not like to leave gaps. So at some point, this gap will be filled and it's usually like about two to three days max, which also plays perfectly into the expectation here that we could come all the way down and touch key 18.2 and then bounce on Friday with a big recoil on the VIX to fill this gap. That is basically the potential I'm seeing play out for the next two days here is basically a push to 405.2 tomorrow. And then Friday, we're going to try to come back down to this 399 level. Looking at the weekly here, um, that we have potential for 407.3 really, but on a weekly standpoint here, that's what we're going to watch is we got that 403 level right here. Um, and we're going to see where we can close this week out. And then looking at futures here, we have the JPM collar, um, 4030 on the calls. 
So really, I, someone was saying that it might have got updated to 4060, but we're in that area, and that's for Spy X, of course. So JPM on Friday is going to want to see that come down. They're not going to want to see Spy hold over their calls for sure. So pretty much futures target is to is to try to close at least under 4075 on Friday. Um, and then look at the daily here. I'm going to talk about it tomorrow, but we have a possible uh, inverted head and shoulders here, which we do have an actual possible play all the way up to 415 before we come back down to 380. Now, I don't really think we're going to play that out personally. There's also a smaller time frame one right here where we could come with the 405. So it would look something like we have our hit here, hit here, and then we're going to come up and hit here, and then we'll come back down to hit here. So this is kind of the target I'm looking more on a short time frame, and I do expect to play out that I'm looking to play. So, all right, I hope you guys had a good day trading today, and I will see you guys tomorrow.